Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and if you are new, welcome. As promised, I wanted to bring you guys a little bit of a different video gearing towards the end of September versus my typical end of the month candle empties and it is a candle declutter video. I have decided to get rid of some candles in my stash that on cold I may like the fragrance but don't love it enough to burn through the entire candle or I just decided I could do without it and pass it on to someone else who may enjoy it more than me. So without further ado let's get into this candle declutter video first up we have pumpkin banana scone from yankee now i have made it no secret i am not a big fan of these two wick tumbler jars from yankee i actually like the two wick signature jars that they recently discontinued however i must have liked this fragrance so much on cold that i ended up with three in my stash two two wick tumblers and one 18 ounce three wick so i decided i don't necessarily need three of these in my candle stash so i'm going to keep two and gift one and hopefully the person will enjoy this fragrance as much as i plan to enjoy it this fall season next up we have barbados spice rum and this was from the new carefree caribbean collection that dropped this year um on cold i'm just not a fan of this fragrance and Yankee can be pretty hit or miss. I feel like a little bit more leaning towards miss with strength and throw than hits. So this is a fragrance that one, I'm not super in love with on cold. And two, I just don't feel like burning through an entire candle that A, I'm not completely in love with and B, will possibly lack in strength and throw. I really don't want to hate burn this candle. So I would rather pass it off to somebody else who may enjoy it more. Another one from the Carefree Caribbean Collection, Bahamas Beach Bum. Now, while I do like this fragrance on cold, it's a nice, creamy, beachy coconut scent without having like sunscreen in it. Um, I've seen too many reliable sources say that the strength and throw lacks on this candle. And while the fragrance is beautiful, I really don't feel like struggling to smell it. So I'm going to pass it off to somebody else who may enjoy a more softer strength and throw candle. I absolutely love Midsummer's Night from Yankee. And when I had it in the three wick, which I did review it here on the channel, um, the three wick, the strength was a six and the throw was a five in my clothes concept. And that was the three wick. So I feel like the two wick is probably more than likely going to lack in strength and throw and i feel like i enjoy midsummer's night more in the wax melts than i do in the candle form as far as strength and throw performance goes um i also have three summer moons from goose creek which is a dupe of this fragrance and it has a much better strength and throw like a strength and throw to my liking that one is a solid seven for me and a closed concept and i like that so instead of burning through this one <laughs> and being unhappy with the strength and throw I'm going to pass it off to someone else another Yankee fragrance that I like on cold but don't necessarily feel the need to keep in my stash is Bayside Cedar this also has those thin wicks that um I believe it was crisp fall night had I guess this is a core wick and crisp fall night was a nice fragrance but it struggled to not pull out but the strength and throw was a bit of a struggle for me with smelling that candle while it was lit so i am going to go ahead and let bayside cedar go but if i happen to come across this fragrance in the wax melts then i may pick it up and try it in the wax melts but as far as burning through a whole entire two wick candle i'm just not in the mood so i'm going to pass this one off as well and the last Yankee candle that I'm going to declutter from my stash is Mediterranean Breeze. This is a nice, fresh, clean, citrusy, aquatic, masculine, cologne leaning fragrance. Typical, you know, aquatic cologne scent. But I did like it on cold enough to purchase it. This is another one that has those thinner core wicks on it that in my experience struggles with providing a good strength and throw so i am going to pass this candle off to someone else who may enjoy it more moving on to some three wicks that i am letting go of radiant red maple i literally just finished burning through one of these and boy was it a struggle burn with these struggle wicks as i like to call them and while i did enjoy the apple marshmallow fragrance of this candle and it did have a pretty good strength and throw um despite the type of wicks that were on the candle the constant cotton balling 
and self trimming wicks i don't feel like going through that again with this candle so i'm going to pass this one off plus i have evening crafts from goose creek which is a dupe of this candle and may have a bit more of a better performance when it comes to the wicks so i'm going to let go of my backup of radiant red maple then we have gray from Kringle. Now the scent notes on this candle are amber, cedarwood, lemongrass, musk, patchouli, sandalwood, and vanilla. And even though this is supposed to be a masculine cologne type of fragrance, it just doesn't do anything for me on cold. And I feel like based off of what I'm smelling on cold, the strength and throw is going to lack on this candle. The main notes I can really pick up on this candle is probably the cedarwood, maybe a little bit of lemongrass, and maybe a little hint of musk. I wouldn't say I get heavy patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, not much amber going on in here. Um, I don't even know how to describe this cologne scent because it's not aquatic. Um, it is a fresh type of cologne scent, but it's not an aquatic one. Uh, it just doesn't do anything for me on cold. So I'm going to pass this one off. I did have it in the past in the two wick and it didn't have any strength and throw for me in the two wick. So I thought I would try it out in the three wick and just smelling it on cold. I'm not impressed. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this one off to someone else. Then we have London Fog from Goose Creek. Now I did do a dedicated review of this candle when it first released and I thought I was going to love it and it was going to sell out super fast. So I went ahead and purchased two prior to knowing what it smelled like on cold and what it smelled like burning. This candle has a powdery, a pow like a, I don't want to say a cologne powderiness to it, but it's definitely like this powdery undertone to it that just doesn't give me an authentic tea. I don't know if it's the chamomile note in here blending with the tea notes and then it has that sparkling bergamot. Um, I like the fragrance, but I'm not in love with the fragrance, even though it does have that powderiness to it. It's just not something like the tea notes are there, but the powderiness is just throwing the scent off for me. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm not even going to. I held on to it as I said I would when I reviewed this candle to revisit it again in fall to see how I felt about it. And I still pretty much feel the same way about it as I felt when I did the post burn review. So I'm just going to pass it off to someone else who may enjoy it more than me. Another tea fragrance I decided to declutter, Ice Sweet Tea from Goose Creek. Now, I did enjoy this fragrance as well. It definitely has that like Lipton powdered lemon tea scent to it. However, the strength and throw on this one in an open concept is not the best and I do not want to burn this particular fragrance in my bedroom. Um, I did burn through one that I did do a dedicated review of on the channel, but I'm going to go ahead and let this one go to someone else who could burn it and enjoy it a little more than me who prefers softer strength and throw fragrances. Another Goose Creek candle I am decluttering from my stash, Green Apple. Now this is exactly what it says it is. It is a fresh green tart apple, nothing else to it. Um, it was pretty good at odor eliminating when I burnt through the first one I had in my open concept. It was in a high range. It was a good 8 out of 10 in strength and throw. Um, but I don't feel the need to burn through another one of these when I have a ton of other green apple fragrances currently in my stash that I enjoy more. So I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. This one, um, I think it comes out in the springtime in a regular packaging, but it's still currently available on Goose Creek's website if you're interested in just a straight up fresh green apple candle is currently available on the site now but we're going to go ahead and let this one go and last but not least we have lavender vanilla from goose creek i do enjoy this candle from goose creek and i love lavender vanilla fragrances and i believe i had about five or six of these you guys i think i burned through one i'm gonna say i have five i burned through one i'm gifted one and i believe i have three left and then I also have two lavender vanillas left in my stash from Bath and Body Works. So I have a good amount of lavender vanilla candles that I'm okay with letting go of one of my extra backups in my stash. Um, love this one in my bedroom. And to me, this one has a better strength and throw than Goose Creek's Lavender Day France candle. 
um i had about three of those i think i burned through one gifted one and i have one left i love lavender lavender fragrances come around often um and i have quite a few lavender blends in my stash so i'm gonna go ahead and let this one go so someone else can enjoy it that's it you guys that's all i have for this declutter video i didn't want to get rid of a ton of my fragrances because there are some scents on cold that i felt like i may come around to and if eventually i don't then i'll just do another declutter video but until then i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you happen to like it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and until next time bye